Are you tired of the pain? Are you suffering from headaches or migraine, body pains, allergies or asthma? Do you have scoliosis, slip disc? Hi, this is Doc Mike and we at Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics specialize in pain relief and natural healing. Our chiropractors are committed to provide the quality chiropractic care that you and your spine deserve. No drugs, no surgeries, all natural healing. Come visit our clinics and experience Mabuhay today. Experience Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics, your pain relief authority. Going beyond the definition and the conventional, transforming natural health into a lifestyle. Chiropractic Diplomatic Corps, Mabuhay Health, and Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics proudly presents Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines 2022. Ng Maynila. Martin Menjola mula sa lalawigan ng Cavite. Marcus Gonzaga po sa City. Darwin Gumaba Morales Libuna, Iloilo Province. JB Riego Guerrero, Baoor City. Adrian Joseph Barsha, Morong Rizal. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, please welcome the masters of tonight's ceremonies. Please welcome Jason Visa and Jennifer Opino. This is the first ever Mr. and Miss Foster Philippines 2022 and I'm very excited to see who will win the crown for tonight. So this is a very unique competition because it redefines what pageant is all about. A pageant should be an overall package of beauty, brain, heart and compassion. Compassion to health. So at this juncture, I would like to call on Doc Mike Tetrel and our COO from India to uh, demonstrate the Mabuhay cheer. Okay, I'm inviting everyone. I'm inviting everyone to do the Mabuhay cheer with us. Are yes. you ready? Yes, we are all ready. Even our candidates are ready, right? Yes, are you ready, guys? I think. Okay, you look stunning tonight. It's like this. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, Mabuhay! Okay, it's a little difficult because I have something in hand. So, okay, are we ready? Okay, one, two, three, go! One, two, three, four, five. Yes, Mabuhay! Okay! Right. Thank you so much, everyone, for your active Thank you, participation. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Thank you Doc, Mike. All right, what a refreshing start it is, Ms. Z. And this is indeed a beautiful evening, especially with this gorgeous and handsome young women and men of our country. Yes, so many prizes at stake, 100,000 passes. A scholarship package from the University of Makati. 100,000 worth of chiropractic service. There's more, wow. Yes, and aside from that, they will learn more and become an advocate of life health. Without further ado, up next is a swimsuit parade. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the night. Experience Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics, your pain relief authority. Every person in this room and everybody watching this program has a spine. Can you imagine going through your life and not having access to a dentist? Who's going to take care of your oral health? So we are actually here to bring the awareness of a very important profession the chiropractic profession, it's 125 years old. And we're here to bring this awareness to the country, make chiropractic a household word, and get to know the possibility that one day, everybody in the Philippines will have access to a chiropractor. There are really about 18 Filipino chiropractors here in this nation. And they have graduated abroad and have taken the heart to come back and practice in their own country. But the reality is, is 18 chiropractors does not fix 110 million people. So those of us who have heart for the Filipinos to be able to make our lives here, and we have an additional 40 other chiropractors here to help out, many of them, of course, working for Mabuhay. And we're here to actually serve the Filipino people. When we think about how to reach the, the average Filipino, we touch their heart by introducing posture as through a pageant so it brings your eyes to the center focus of what's inside your body which is your spine so we're able to actually dovetail the concept of posture into health and from health into spinal health and from there we can better serve the filipinos chiropractic is a natural health profession we are spinal experts and we actually bring this level of doctor degree in training and evaluating spines and correcting these spinal problems. But that's not the whole story. We actually have health-related problems about lifestyle. We talk to our patients about proper exercise, proper fitness, how to sleep, how 
all the right things. I always tell people, you know, my problems are the result of doing too many of the wrong things, not enough of the right things. And so in our profession, we get to talk to our patients one on one. Mabuhai Health is our outreach to the community to discuss without having to pay for a chiropractor to just come online and register with us and we can help guide you in this process of natural health. Learn step by step how to be a better self healer. Truth is, is that every little thing that you do all day long has everything to do with how long you're going to live, how healthy you're going to be. The actual daily activities, so the things that you do right, promote that. And the things that you don't do so right, take away from that. So it's really about an exercise in personal discipline in one way, but personal knowledge. You have to grow your knowledge first before you can actually apply the discipline. So at the end of the day, we're looking for a healthier person. In order for you to benefit from this pageant and, and, and what trying to teach you in the process is you need to have a personal philosophy of health. We all have a personal philosophy of life, but a personal philosophy of health is that section that says, how do I take care of myself? This body God gave to us, it's the temple of our body. We have an actual obligation to take care of it. And I'm just simply saying, be a good custodian of your body. Good posture is very important to your overall health. It offers a variety of benefits including reduced back pain, increased energy, and greater confidence. And now, to show us what a good posture is all about, here's the candidates in their swimwear attire.
Yes, of course. That will tell so much about our lifestyle. The way we are, whatever the things that we do, it tells so much about us. So, since we are talking about posture, let's give our candidates a round of applause wearing Kati Capistrano swimwear. And Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines is welcome or is open to everybody. Yes. Even if you're divorcee, you're married, you're a single mom, as long as you are an advocate of natural health and you think you have a good posture, right? Yes, and I totally agree with that. So more trivia will be coming up, but at this point, we will proceed to our first set of awards because I am sure that we are all excited to know what awards await our dear candidates for tonight. Exactly. So let's start with the first award, Jason. Yes, our first award is the Guang Flores Choice Award, courtesy of none other than the mind behind our dress, our lovely gown for tonight, Mr. Jr. Gumboa Flores. Yes, so Jr. sponsored three hundred thousand worth of wardrobe for the winner, and for the Guang Flores Choice Award. 
she or he will receive a gift pack from Gawang Flores. Wow. So, practically, Kuya JR, as we call him, yes. he uses the Mindanao fabric like Tinala, Pinukib, and all the native products in uh, Mindanao. Different kind of fabrics, Jason. See, so we are not only promoting natural life health style, uh, health lifestyle, but we are also promoting the culture of the Filipinos, specifically in Mindanao. Okay, so let's give the stage to the winners. Or right, there's only one winner for this. So, the winner for Gawang Flores is from Bicol Region, Apple Mora. Congratulations, Miss Apple Mora. second award for tonight is the JM Pageantry Innovations Choice Award. And of course, the winner will receive gift packages from JM Pageantry, courtesy of Ms. JM Robles. And the winner for JM Pageantry Innovations Awards are, for male, we have Martin Mendiola. And for female, we have, again, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Apple Mora. Photogenic. Mr. and Miss Photogenic, let's start with male. We have Martin Mendiola. And for female, we have Elena Cocal from Municipality of Midsayat and Martin Mendiola from Cavite. Congratulations, guys. For the Mr. and Miss Congeniality, we have for male, Iloilo's province, Darwin Libuna. And for female, we have Michelle Summer Abad from Masbate. left for Jazz Cafe Choice Award to be awarded by Gerald Capistrano. They will receive a gift certificate, 1,500 pesos each. For male, we have Adrian Joseph Barsha. And for female, we have Hany Roy Smogar. Congratulations, you will receive the gift certificates for Chess Cafe. You know what Chess Cafe is a now popular cafe in Cardona Rizal. Congratulations, guys. And here's the owner of Chess Cafe, Gerald Capistrano, who did our makeup for tonight also. So, our best in talent. Our talent competition was done online last month. The best in talent will receive 5,000 pesos each from a Buhay Cairo Practic Clinic. For our best in talent, we have for male candidate, Joser Sinfuego of Tugigaro City. And for female candidate, we have Maria Rachilda de la Cueva of Quezon City. Jennifer, that concludes our first set of awards. 
stay tuned for more because we will be right back. Mr. and Me's Poster Philippines is presented to us by Mabuhay Health, Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics, and Chiropractic Diplomatic Corps. Speaking of lifestyle, we have here the advocates of natural health lifestyle who will help us choose tonight's winner. That's right. So without further ado, let us meet our panel of judges for tonight. For our first judge, she is the Chief Operating Officer of Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics, none other than Ms. Lenabel Abrasaldo. Okay, our next judge is the owner of JM Pageantry Innovation and one of our sponsors, we have JM Robles. Our next judge is one of Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics chiropractor who can speak multiple languages. He completed his doctors in chiropractic medicine at the University of Toluca Valley, Mexico. He is none other than Dr. Ivan Aguilar Pelaez. Our next judge is the reigning Miss Progress Philippines 2022. She will represent our country in the eighth edition of Miss Progress International, where I also went the last time. Yes. yes, it's going to be in Puglia, Italy. We have here Beatriz Awati. Also here with us tonight is the Vice President for Corporate Finance of a company in Hong Kong and currently the Babuhay Chiropractic Clinics, business and management consultant from Canada who also speaks multiple languages. He is none other than Sir Guido Dorgencio. Our next judge is a very successful entrepreneur. And she's very active in different charity works. A multi awardee of Gawad Filipino Heroes Award for outstanding community service. And a four times, not just once, it's four. Lion Melvin Jones Fellow Awardee for her humanitarian services. It is our great honor to have Dr. Lilia Regino Tamayo. For our next judge, he is a member of Viva Entertainment's Pinoy Pop Girl Group. She is a Pop Generation member. Her group performs on Jimmy's All Out Sunday variety show at a young age. This judge already represented Philippines three times and won three times. She an is unbeatable. Yes, yeah. in an international stage. Imagine that. Former Miss in Planet 2018, which I joined also in 2016. Your successor, Jason. Yes. Yeah. Miss Teen Hope International 2019. And just recently, she was crowned Future Fashion Faces World. Modeling competition winner in Antalya, Turkey. Please welcome Sophia Lorene Cruz. And take note, Sophia Lorene Cruz is the youngest among the contestants in Future Fashion Phases World. And our next judge, she is also a beauty queen. She represented the Philippines way back in 2018 at Cape Town City, South Africa and was crowned as Miss Teen Hope International. Ladies and gentlemen, Celine Hernandez. What a beautiful young lady we have yes. tonight. And our chairman of the Board of Judges, he is a national and international cutter here. He is the official designer of Miss International Australia and queens of her beautiful planet organization, not just in the Philippines, but also in Australia. To the one we owe this counts that we are wearing tonight, none other than Mr. J.R. Gamboa Flores. We'll be right back. Up next, Jason. will be the formal parade of our candidates. Exuding confidence, charm, elegance, and great posture. 
Here are our candidates of Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines 2022 in their formal wear and evening gown. Together with Moira La Cambra and Nolo Lopez.
receives Zen Zest packaged and of course a package from Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics.
So, for the best in longa, we have Miss Verily Aquino. And for the best in formal wear for male, we have Joseph Sinfuega of the Bigarao City. We have here the best in swimwear. The best in swimwear will receive a gift pack from Zenzest and Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics. Best in swimwear goes to Martin Mindiola and Maria Isabel Rionan. This judgment is based on the preliminary The People's Choice Awardees, we have Tohami Ogalingan and Maria Richilda de la Cueva. They garner the most amount of votes, both Our from People's Facebook Choice. and Premium Voting. Congratulations, guys. You must have so many fans. So they will receive a sash and a gift box from Aguay Chiropractic Clinics. They will also receive a cash prize from Noah's TV. Sir Noah, if you're there, thank you so much to uh, visit his account on Facebook. It's Noah's Hearts TV, our sponsor for the cash prize of People's Choice Award. Thank you so much. We have the best in introduction video. For the best in introduction video who really exerted effort, we have Martin Mandiola and Maria Isabel Rional. Congratulations. This is based from the judges. They voted for it. So it means that they can relate to what they're saying. And every day we are undergoing different struggles. And I think what they did in the video really showed how much people can struggle with and go through with. And eventually, they are here right now in front of us vying for the crown of Mr. and Ms. Posher Philippines. We have now the best in tourism video. Now the best in tourism video is... We have for female, Maria Rashilda de la Cueva and Tohami Ogaligan. Congratulations, best in tourism video. Tohami Ogaligan and Maria Rashilda de la Cueva. So for our next award, we have a very unique award for this pageant, which I am I really love so much and I am really proud of because you know there are different pageants who only look at the beauty of the candidates. But with this award, with this category, we can see how creative our candidates are. We can actually hear what's inside their hearts and what they want everyone to realize in our lives. So for the best in essay. Yes, Jaysa, you are right. Because most pageants just look at how how your complexion is, how beautiful your teeth is, yes. how beautiful you smile, how beautiful your hair, whatever is your color, the dress, the designer. But this pageant is simply amazing. Mm -hmm. The best and essay is for male category, Gilbert Besson of Bacolod, Lanao del Norte. And for female, Miss Apple Mora of Bicol Region. Apple Mora, congratulations. And what's another unique thing about this essay is that during the question and answer, you can express yourself for only 30 seconds to one minute max. However, when you're writing an essay, you can actually write anything that comes up in your mind. And I think that's very genuine. Exactly, and they just have three minutes with the minimum of 100 words when they did that. Wow, that's very spectacular. They must be really brainy. I know that you love SAJs. I do. As much as I loved it. 
an essay is like you're expressing something inside you. Yes, because sometimes we just don't like to talk to other people, but the genuineness of our hearts will really come out when we start to write. So I'll stay here to give way to this very special award, Jace. This award is the Register Your Love Challenge. Register Your Love Challenge is 25% of the overall score. This is where they have to engage their loved ones to think, eat, and move right. Let's do an action. It's okay. think, eat, and move right. Okay? okay? That is Poster Pageants and Mabuhay Health Tagline. For our Register Your Love Challenge Award, the winner is... There are so much gold membership from this person. He okay. is Tohami Ogalingan of Midsayap North, Cotabato. Maria Richelda De La Cueva of Quezon City. They are given a crown because they engage people to actually go on a healthy lifestyle. Congratulations, Congratulations. guys. You have showcased and you have shown how you registered your love to your loved ones through the tagline of Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinic. Yes, and regardless of what will going to happen to this competition, they already have a crown. Yes. Plus, they will receive a gift back from Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics. Thank you so much. Okay, of course, before we proceed, okay, this is a very tough part of the competition, Jaza. Yes, because we are going to advance now to our top 12 finalists for the night. There will be top highest scorers. And there will be a fast track winner. A fast track winner is a combination of their scores in voting, register your love challenge, and invitation here tonight. So, are you ready? All Let's right. start with the male category. Please do the honors. For the male category, we have for the first spot, Mr. Martin Mandiola of Cavite. Bacolod, Lanao del Norte, Gilbert Basin. You also got a spot in the top six for male category, Mr. Joser Sinfuego of Togigarao City. And for the fourth spot, we have from Manila, Edwin Ibon. Okay, that's our five highest, or four, four rather. Because now for the fifth spot, we have from Bacoor, JB Guerrero. Okay, and for our fast truck winner, fast truck winner, which will be included in the top six is. Tohami Ogalingan of Midsayap North, Cotabato. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top six for our male category. And now, for the female category, we have... This is your spot, Stephanie Gabriel Ladignon. You also got a spot from San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, Maria Isabel Rional. This also belongs to you, Barry Lee Aquino. You may now come forward, Miss Apple Maravinius of Beagle. And this is your night too, Danica Mojica. And for our fast track spot for the top six female candidate, fast track winner is. Maria Richelda de la Cueva. We would like to thank everyone who's in here. Regardless if you win or 
or lose, you've already touched lives of your family, of your friends, and you've already become an ambassador of natural health lifestyle. Yes. So congratulations, everyone. Everyone is a winner. And the fact that you are here tonight, it already became a big uh, experience for you, of course, which uh, you can share to your family, to your friends, to your loved ones. And after that, you can still continue to become an advocate of natural health lifestyle. I always believe that there is always a perfect time, a perfect moment for everyone, for right? Yes. Up next, the candidates will be wearing their own swimsuit attire. Another swimsuit attire. We will be back. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the top 12 finalists of Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines 2022 in their swimwear presentation. Female candidates. 
is Stephanie Ladignoy. Stephanie Ladignoy of Pandakan, Manila. Rushing up the place with a style and passion Follow me, follow me down to a big balagan When we ride the mic, I'm here, feel oh, I'm a boy Got a good vibe, we recommend to all our boys If I buy the pretty good with a sound melody I man now got them scream like, yeah, what a day Maria Isabel Rional of San Jose del Monte, Bulacan
um, finally complete their scores, we yes. would like to request one by one so they can have a final look. Let's start with JP Guerrero. JP Guerrero is from Bacoor City and he is a licensed teacher. Thank you, JP. We also have Martin Mendiola. Martin Mendiola is a model and working in a marketing. He is a pageant veteran. There you go, Martin Mendiola. Now we have Edwin Evan. Edwin Evan has been working as a model and currently and currently studying Jayza. That's Edwin All Evan right. from Manila. We also have Gilbert Bassin. Gilbert Bassin is taking up his master's degree and he is currently teaching in Lanao. Thank you. Next is Joser Sinfuego of the Gigarao City. Joser Sinfuego can do fire dancing, singing, and he is also an actor. He has been into different television series and runaway fashion show. That is Joser Sinfuego from the Gigarao City. Thank you. And of course, we also have for the male category, Tohami Ogaligan. Tohami Ogaligan is a licensed teacher in Midsayap North, Cotabato. Our candidates are really professional in their own There way. are so many teachers right here. Yes, and I think they will be an instrument for chiropractic to be uh, to raise awareness to our dear students, right? Exactly, because we will be giving out a scholarship for the winner. Wow! Just one night, everything will change in your life. You will have an opportunity to become a chiropractic doctor. Exactly, because chiropractic education is going to be available soon in the Philippines, courtesy of Doc Mike Tetrell. Let's give it a round of applause. Thank you so much, Doc Mike, okay. for your generosity. And now, for the female, first we have Stephanie Ladignon. Stephanie Ladignon is from Pandacan, Manila, currently a student and has been joining pageants to develop her skills and personality. That is Stephanie Ladignon. We also have... Thank you, Stephanie. Danica Mojica. Danica Mojica is an entrepreneur. She loves online selling. And there you go, Danica Mojica. With a brilliant mind, of course, to use an online platform and the situation for you to still earn, right? So Exactly. We also have Maria Isabel Rionel. Maria Isabel Rionel suffered scoliosis. That's why she is very familiar with chiropractic. She is now an ambassador of natural health lifestyle and she loves chiropractic service because she knows how it is. Now, now she is at her posture. Yes. How can you say that she has been suffering She's from scoliosis? Taking up dentistry, Jason. Wow. Yes, that's good. Good luck with your end of our Miss Rionel. And next, we have Verily Aquino. Verily Aquino from University di Manila. Or Universidad de Mandela, rather. Verily was just recently crowned Miss Yuda. She is the breadwinner of the family and she joins pageant to develop her personality and to become a better person. Thank you, Verily. Thank you, Verily. We also have Miss Apple Mora. Apple Mora is a 35-year-old and a mother of two. And she took up law at Ateneo de Naga University. That's Apple Mara from Bicol region. With that posture, how can you say that she's already a mother of two? Yes, thank you, Apple. Thank you so much, Miss Apple. And of course, the last but not the least, Miss Maria Richilda de la Cueva. Maria Richelda de la Cueva also suffers scoliosis. That's why she knows the value of chiropractic in health. She is a great fan of natural health lifestyle because she believes that that is a cure to our society at this moment. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you so much. And of course, Jaysa, we've come to a point where we can test their intelligence. This is my favorite part of the competition. Well, me too, of course. I really want to hear what they can say and they would like to say to the people around them. We have to acknowledge 
Kathy Mora Capistrano for the green swimsuit a while ago. Oh, I yes. love Miss Kathy. Before the event started, when I saw the swimsuits, I already told my mom, oh, I want one of them. That's exactly right. I love it. Mm, yes, you like I the color? It. Yeah. It's very mabuhay. Okay, so our judges will actually uh, give one question to yes. the candidate. Okay. All right. So I will be the one who will choose the judge. So it's, it, will be, it will be easier. Okay. So okay. to start with, our male candidate. Starting off with JP Guerrero. Hello, JP. How are you? How do you feel that you are part of the top 12? I am very flattered and I'm excited about the next uh, updates for this. I heard that you won Darling of the Press last time. How does it feel? It's an honor to be part of that um, event and actually uh, I'm proud of being to be like that. Okay. So, so I think he's ready. Yes, Chesa. So I'm going to pick Beatriz Awatin, Miss Progress Philippines 2022. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine, ma'am. Okay, so this is my question. What is the vital role of good health and posture in your personal progress and success? Again, what is the vital role of good health and posture in your personal progress and success? <clears throat> Having a good habit and lifestyle is a very important life. It is a very important in our daily life because as a teacher, it is important to me to have a good health, physically, mentally, and social health because all of this is in order for me to, to give knowledge to my children because I believe that everything that I have should be or give, it is important to every children that I should be more knowledgeable because I am the one who is sharing the thoughts to everyone. And I believe that these children will be the near or the future of our new generation. Thank you very much and th good evening. Wow, what a beautiful answer, Mr. Guerrero. You know what? Uh, people would always say that how can you become successful if you are not taking care of your health? Because even though you're very rich at the end of the day, if you're not taking care of your health, then what is your money for, right? I would have to agree with that, Jaysa. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let us call on our second candidate, which is Martin Mendiola. Hello, Martin. How are you tonight? I'm so uh, nervous, but I'm so excited. Thank you. I can see that. you're. Even though you're nervous, I know that you will give us the very uh, nice answers that will inspire our audience for tonight. Thank you. Okay, so... For our judge who will ask you the question. Okay, for this one, I would pick Ms. Lenable Abrasaldo, our Chief Operating Officer. Good evening, Martin. Uh, good evening, ma'am. How are you? I am good, thank you. Okay, great. My question is, what do you think is the advantage of having a good posture? And how will you apply that to the young people? Again, what do you think is the advantage of having a good posture? And how will you apply that to the young people? Good evening, Okada, and good evening, everyone. Way back 2017, when my mom diagnosed a stage 1 breast cancer, and I, we found out that cancer runs to our family's blood. One, uh, our... our we found out that cancer runs to our family's blood, and... We, we, cha we immediately change our ways, not just our posture, but we practice our good health by do, uh, attending gym session, eating healthy food, and, and surround ourselves with positive people. And if given a chance to win this kind of competition, I will raise awareness and extend my hand of um, helping others, inspiring others, but to... Uh, That's good. To... To, uh, to create awareness of good posture and healthy lifestyle. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Mendiola. That's Mandiola. really a tough question. Yes. Yeah. 
because not just about your advocacy, about application, because again, words without an action are just words. So if you would like to become an advocate, you must take an action. Yes, and I would like to reserve three judges for the final questions later. And that is okay. our board of judges, JR, Dr. Lilia, and Sir Guido. For our next male candidate, let us call on Edwin Evan. Hi, Edwin. Do you expect to be in the top 12? <laughs> hey. Good evening, for everyone. Okay, so your judge is Dr. Ivan Aguilar Felites. Hello, Edwin. How are you? I'm good, but I'm really excited to go home because I'm going to go home. Okay, uh, my question is, first, we have to know that healthiness is not only about outside the body. It's also inside the body. My question is, what makes you hurt happy? Again, what makes you hurt happy? I'm dealing with my insecurities, especially my physical, because um, before I was very skinny, but I am proud of now. And by doing, um, by doing a physical activities, especially sports and a workout, it makes me feel good and it makes me fulfillment in everything. And from that, I, I always looking forward to be more active, to be, to be more self-aware in order to be, have a good health. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. A lot of us has insecurities even though the other people think that you're the most beautiful person she or he has ever met. The deep inside that person has insecurity, right? However, overcoming that insecurity is really uh, going to give that person self-fulfillment. And I think that's genuine happiness for that person. I would have to agree, Chaisa. So our next candidate is Gilbert Pessin. Hello, Gilbert. Kumusta ka, Gilbert? <laughs> uh, mayong gabi sa inyo ang tanan. I'm very okay po. Thank you for this That's opportunity. That's great. Are you Ilonggo or Bisaya? Bisaya ka o Ilonggo? <laughs> Dako nga Bisaya. Proud nga Bisaya. <laughs> to ask you a question, here is the reigning queen fresh from Antalya, Turkey. Sophia Lauren Cruz. Hello, good evening. Good evening po. So this is my question for you. If you could give a piece of advice for those who are suffering with their physical and mental health, what would it be? Thank you so much for that question. As a visionary educator and a mental health advocate, I would give an advice to those who are suffering health issues by engaging physical activities. For example, Dancing, because I do believe that dancing, one of the benefits of that is flexibility, improve flexibility, and aside from that, it improves your posture. Life is worth celebrating. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Indeed, life is worth Thank you celebrating. So Thank you, mabuhay ka rin. Of course, we must all love our own life. Exactly. So, Jaysa, wow, it's so tough. I think it's going to be hard for the judges. Yes, because they are all answering very well. And I think all of them has their own respective points, which really touches our hearts right now. I am very inspired by all their answers. Yes, me too. So let's proceed to Joe and Fuego from Tugigarao City. Hello, Joe Sir. You don't Hi. have fire right now. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't have any surprise like fire. Yeah. But... Okay, so your judge is J.M. Robles. Here is my question. If ever given a chance to win this title, Mr. Posture Philippines, how will you promote chiropractic being a beauty, being a title holder rather? I repeat, if ever given a chance to win this title, Mr. Posture Philippines, how will you promote chiropractic being a beauty king or a title holder? Well, as one of the indigenous people, 
all around here in the Philippines. Oh. I'm actually proud of it. <laughs> and um, I will share my advocacy, especially to educate people with my experience with this. And I'm totally happy to be um, engaged with these uh, productions because um, I've learned a lot and I will share that to educate people, especially those um, indigenous people were in actually uh, one of my uh, family and love. And um, <laughs> mabuhay tayong lahat. Mahal ko kayo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joe, sir. So, Joe, sir, is a part of an indigenous people's tribe. Thank you, Joe, sir. For our last male candidate in the top 12, we have Tohami Ugalingan. Tohami, the winner of the fast track. Wow. How does it feel? Yes. Okay, I'm so grateful and very thankful because I feel the support from my municipality, Midzayap. Hello, uh, Midzayap, North Cotabato. So I'm so uh, thankful for the support that I've received from them. Wow, I guess uh, everyone from Itzayap right now is watching. <laughs> okay, well, hello everyone from Itzayap. So yes. your judge is Miss Celine Hernandez, former Miss Teen Hope International. So hi, good evening. Hello, good How evening How are too. you? <laughs> I'm so uh, grateful tonight. Okay, it's good. So my question for you is, do you agree that having an inactive lifestyle can be one of the causes of many diseases? Again, do you agree that having an inactive lifestyle can be one of the causes of many diseases? Yes, I do believe that inactive uh, la healthy lifestyle is indeed uh, definitely can, we can have a lot of diseases from that. Uh, that's why in my personal uh, experience, I have a lot of diseases when I, because in my um, case, I'm from obesity, and I'm very proud that now I'm doing healthy lifestyle, natural health lifestyle. And uh, from 84 kilograms, I receive uh, 63 kilograms now, and very proud because of the discipline that I put to it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tohami. Wow, that is yes. such a great motivation to everyone out there. Even though you're suffering from obesity or whatever it is, you can still live healthy if you will put your mind and heart to what you want to achieve. So thank you so much for that again, Mr. Tohami Ogalingan. Now, we will proceed, of course, to our female candidates. Yes. So we have Stephanie Ladignon from Pandakan, Manila. The one who will ask question is Dr. Lilia Regino. Doctor, how are you tonight, by the way, first, Miss Stephanie? Oh, I'm feeling so excited because I'm here at Top 6, so I'm going to seize the moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's your question. Hello, Miss Stephanie. Hi. Yeah. My questions. My question is, arrange in order from priority to less priority, and why in that order? Number one, love life. Number two, career. And number three, health. So if I were to arrange those three orders, love life, career, or health, first of all, I would choose the number one, which is health. Because everything that would be in our personal things, we should be more conscious about ourselves, our health, our posture. Because if we are healthy, we could achieve our love life and our career. We have this body, we have this health that we could cater a large of our dream. We could be hardworking and we all know that it's not possible with hard work to achieve our dreams because with hard work all of your dreams will turn into reality and with hard work there's nothing impossible and with hard work you will fulfill that factor of satisfaction in your life and that would be all thank you thank you so much miss stephanie so guys so those who are thinking of prioritizing their love life or their career now you must realize that you must prioritize your health. She's yeah. saying do not prioritize yes. your love life. Stay mm -hmm. healthy. Yes. <laughs> if you want to have a love life, stay healthy. If you want to achieve your dreams and have that successful career, stay healthy. I love what she said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Danica Mojica. Hello, Danica. Hi, Hello. good evening. How are you? 
I'm okay, and I'm very excited to be here and to have the question. <laughs> Yes, so the one who will ask you, he is from Canada. Wow. He is our consultant, Sir Guido. Good evening and good luck to all finalists. If you want to be healthy and have a good posture, what are the things you are willing to give up to be fit and healthy and tell us why? What I will going to give up is those bad habits. Like eating um, chichiria or what we call the snacks or those who have a high calories or high carb carbohydrates. And as a future social worker, I just want also to give an encouragement to all the people uh, um, around me to eat right and also be a representation and a best example. And I know that I can give and that will be a great contribution for us to have a better, comfortable and safe place to live in. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Danica. It is really hard for us to really give up junk foods, right? But we must really take it into consideration, especially soft drinks, the carbonated drinks. Yes, right? exactly. Okay. Now let's proceed to Maria Isabel Rional. Wow, that passerella. <laughs> okay, I've been looking at that. So where did you learn that? Um, I learned that from Miss Dimple Aquino, who is oh. now watching right now. Thank Hi, you for Ms. teaching Dimple. me. I'd like to meet you. Anyway, so here is your judge, our chairman, J.R. Gamboa Flores. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Paul. And congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, this is your question. If you will win tonight, how will you encourage the young to be more conscious in their health and posture. Way back 2019, I was diagnosed with dextroscoliosis. So I did an alternative healthcare. That's why I'm standing here as a living proof that we can use the natural health lifestyle. And that if my story can actually inspire even one person, then I deserve to be your Miss Posture 2022. Wow, that's really great. So let's proceed with Verily Aquino. Good evening. Hello, Verily. Good evening. How Hi, are you? good evening, Okada. Good evening to our judges and to uh, all of our visitors for tonight. I hope you're having a great show. I hope that we candidates have given you a great show so far. <laughs> I am sure about that. So the next judge we're going to ask you is... Dr. Lilia, please. Ms. Aquino. Yes. <laughs> this is my question. If health is wealth, how can you say if someone is healthy? How can I say that someone is healthy? First, I do think that someone healthy is someone that is beautiful, not just from the outside, but also from the inside. Someone that has a very stable mentality and someone that promotes good health. Second, someone that is uh, strong because being healthy is being physically strong but also mentally strong because I do think that our mindset is something that is very important. And third is being healthy is being responsible because if we are responsible to what we eat, to what we do on our everyday lives, I do think that it shows that good health it's something that cannot be taken away from us. You can have money, you can have fame, you can have power, you can have everything in life. But good health is something that cannot be taken away from you by anyone else. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so Thank much. You so very much, good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Kino. Next right. is, oh, she's the only married uh, finalist. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's 35 as well. Let's call her Apple Mora Vinyas. Good evening, Miss Apple. You're so fit and sexy, and you has a good po you have a good posture. I, w uh, I cannot think that you already have two kids. Uh, yeah, how thank you how so young much. is your youngest, by the way? Uh, my youngest is I actually um, suffering from postpartum, just 14 months. So oh, I have yeah. a 14-month-old baby. 14-month-old. You know? yes. Oh wow! All right, so let's proceed. Your judge for tonight is. 
Okay, let's choose Celine Hernandez. Hi, good evening again. So good my evening. question for you is, what is for you the simplest way to be healthy? Again, what is for you the simplest way to be healthy? All right, so again, good evening, everyone. So align with the mission vision of Miss Posture, um, the things that I think are first is think positive to be happy. Second, eat well to heal well if you are sick. And of course, you need to move a lot, all right, with abundance of nature. Because if you do everything, like if you make your mind, your habit healthy and you move a lot, you will be healthy. And not only physically, but more on emotionally. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Apple Mora. Thank you, Miss Apple. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, think positive, eat, eat healthy, mm -hmm. and move right. Move okay, along. that's our <laughs> that, yeah. Okay. Coincides. Think, yeah. eat, and move right. Okay, so we have the last but not the least, Maria Richelda de la Cueva, and we have J.R. Gamboa Flores to ask the question. This is the question for you. Uh, for you, what is the biggest issue on health nowadays that needs to be addressed and why? The biggest issue on health nowadays is the thing that, that hinders our everyday lives. The issue would be the neglect and the neglect of of being physical or the neglect of having a healthy life the biggest issue would be being able to forget what is the important thing and that would be the physical health physical health is one of the four dimensions of wellness and physical health is being neglected because we we tend to for, yes we tend to forget that physical health is very important in our life thank you Thank you so much so with a pandemic going on in our lives yes we tend to forget uh, that we, uh, it is our obligation to take care of ourselves, right? We would like to thank our board of judges. This is really a tough question, tough, intelligent questions. And of course, this is the time to acknowledge all the productions and staff who have been working so hard to make mm -hmm. this possible to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And of course, we would like to thank our media friends who's here. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for being with us. Judges so are having a really hard time right now deciding who will be our top six. Three yes. female and three males. We will be right back. So sit, sit back, back and, and relax. Mr. and Miss Poster Full Teens would like to thank Zen Zest, Ela's Kitchenette, University of Makati, Taste Bud Teaser, Sweet Berry Licious, SDI College Passai, Nolo Lopez, Nolo Heart TV, Moira La Camera, Mabuhay Chiropractic Clinics, Mabuhay Health, J and Badge Reanimation by JM Robles, JR Gamboa Flores, JR Gamboa Flores Couture, Jazz Cafe, Koi Salda, Kathy Mora Capistrano for the swimwear, Beauty and Graces, Bakery Ni Nanay, Bake and Cook PH, Team Lisa Kirovin for hair and makeup, Alpha Street by Alfie Eufemi, Dr. Alex Jur C. Ramos PhD, and the University of Makati for our scholarship package. Six, let us start with the top three male candidate. We have Mr. Josser Sinfuego. 
Joser San Fuego is one of our top six. All this right. is a completely back to zero. The previous scores doesn't have any bearing. bearing. So yes. whatever the result of their question and answer, that's it. Okay? All right. So our next top three male candidate is Gilbert Bassin. Gilbert Bassin. And of course, for the last spot, please come forward. Mr. J.P. Guerrero. Mr. J.P. Guerrero is one of our top six. Thank, congratulations, guys. All right. And of course, for top three female candidates, we have come forward, Miss Apple Mora. Apple Mora from Bicol Region. And we also have Miss Maria Isabel Rionel. Maria Isabel Rionel from San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. And for the last spot, it is also your night, Miss Verily Aquino. Congratulations, guys! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our top six finalists who will buy the crown for the first ever Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines. Stay tuned only here at GTV because we will be right back for the question and answer of our top six finalists. This will be the final round for Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines 2022. Exactly. So some of our judges will be asking the final questions. Let's call Verily Aquino. Judge is J.R. Gamboa Flores. Hello, Verily. Congratulations. Hello, boss. Sir. Thank you so much. Yes. And this is a question for you. If you will win tonight, how will you promote natural lifestyle and alternative medicine to the people around the country? If I will be able to win the crown tonight, um, first of all, I am a third year education student at Universidad de Manila and I am a practicing teacher and as what I've said, I've been teaching students from Calderon High School. If I'm able to win the crown, I would use my voice and my platform to reach out to my students because I do think that we should influence people as young as them to start eating healthy, to start uh, being aware about good health. And I will always tell them in the four corners of my classroom that good health and good posture should be forever, should have no boundaries, and it should have no ending. Thank you very much. Thank you, Very Lee. Thank you so much. Our next judge is Sir Guido. And we will have Miss Apple Mora. For you to have a great posture and a natural healthy life, what is the better advice that you can give us and why? All right, thank you so much for that very nice question. So again, um, the best advice I could give to um, everybody is to have a good posture and a good life, or a healthy life rather, is of course, again, aligned with the mission vision is first to think right. Because if you think right or if you think positively, you will have a happy and healthy life to eat well, because if you're sick, you will heal well. And of course, to move a lot, to exercise. Because again, if you move a lot, you will have a healthy body. And of course, with, the, with abundance of nature, you will be more positive. That will be all, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much, Ms. Apple Mora. And for our next female candidate. Next candidate is Maria Isabel Rional. Or Dr. Lilia, please. Hello, Ms. Rional. Hello, Pa. In your own point of view, 
what is the difference between chiropractic treatment, herbal medicine treatment, and holistic treatment in curing diseases? Thank you. That's a very tough question, but I will answer it on fire. First of all, the difference between the chiropractic treatment. Chiropractic treatment is also known as having a session. So you need to continuously and be consistent in attending your session. It's very important for you to correct your posture. And of course, it's the herbal treatment. Herbal treatment, I believe it's about um, drinking or mixing some herbal that will help also to us to improve our health. And of course, last is the holistic treatment. Being treatment by the holistic, it's mean that you are empowered with not that but body, but also in the soul and mind. And I believe those if we combine those three treatment, we can attain and achieve our good posture and a healthy lifestyle that we all dream and aspire for. Thank you. Thank Very you so good. much. <laughs> okay, okay, so Jason, next candidate. For our male candidate from Tugigaro City. Joseph Fago, And the one who we're going to ask is Miss Beatrice Awatin, Miss Progress Philippines. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so here is my question. If you win as a Mr. Posture Philippines, how will you create awareness in the importance of good posture and natural health treatment? Again, if you win as Mr. Posture Philippines, how will you create awareness in the importance of good posture and natural health treatment? I will start. So my, of course, in my, uh, in my tribe. We're in, um, there are um, Ibanag. I will start that. And to all the indigenous people in the Philippines, I want to share and educate them about the posture. Being strong is there. Thrive is strong. And of course, we know that the pandemic actually, you know, hurting everyone. So I'm here. Mr. Posture Philippines is educate and advocate everyone. And of course, giving the bamboo high smile to each and everyone. Thank you. Wow. Okay, thank you. Mabuhay smile. Thank you so much. For our next male candidate, yes, male candidate JP Guerrero from Bacoor City. So your judge will be? Your judge will be Sofia Larin Cruz. Hello, good evening. Hello, How nice are you? meeting you. I'm fine, thank you for asking. So this is my question for you. How does having a great lifestyle affect your daily lives? Thank you very much for that question. So being an ambassador for the health awareness and, and an educator, it is an honor and responsible to be here right now. I have three things uh, in my mind in order for me to achieve being your Mr. Ambassador this year and even for the future. This is, these are to, info, to inform, <clears throat> influence, and inspire. First, as an educator, I would like, and it is my responsibility to inform everyone what is good health to everyone. And I would like to quote this, what the Mabuhay chiropractor, which is to think, eat, and move right. I would like to sh shout and share to everyone the importance of this simple quote, but a very meaningful, <coughs> meaningful for everyone. And next to that, is to influence by setting example to everyone, most especially for the children, which is my students, I could definitely help everyone to move to the better lifestyle. And after that, I would like to inspire everyone, being your Mr. Ambassador 
for health awareness and especially for raising awareness for, for uh, mental health, I would share my profession to inspire them to do better lifestyle. Thank you very much and good evening. Okay, and last but not the Thank least, you. we have Gilbert Bassin. And the judge is Ms. Lenable Abrasaldo. If you will win tonight as Mr. Osher Philippines, how will you use your title? And how would that be, how would you make that as effective to, to all the people? If I will win this competition, the Mr. Posture Philippines 2022, I will use my voice because I am a teacher. I will teach, I will touch, and transform the community by engaging natural lifestyle. Because as of now, we are engaging, um, experiencing different um, diseases, especially cardiovascular or non-communicable non or communicable diseases. I want to promote um, the platform of this organization, the Mabubuhay Health, the chiropractic, that we need to engage, that for us um, in the community, we need to improve our respiratory and cardiovascular to fight different diseases. Because keeping ourselves in the ground, we need to love ourselves Put our health first. Daghang salamat ang mayong gabi sa inyo ang tanan. Daghang salamat, Gilbert. All right, that wraps up the question and answer portion for our top six finalists. So, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the last award which we will give tonight. And of course, this is the highest of all awards because this is going to be the first ever Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines 2022. Yes, let's start with the second runner-up for both male and female, Joseph Sinfago and Verily Aquino. Congratulations! And for our first runner-up, of course, Miss Jennifer will... For the first runner-up... So, whoever will be the one who will not be called, of course, will be our title for tonight. First runner-up is... So I would like to call on the presenters. We have Dina, we have Marie Janelle Nunez, D, uh, Dina Salvador, and Dr. Ivan Aguilar Pelais. Winners are Gilbert Bessin and Apple Mora Venez. And the first ever Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines is JB Guerrero and Maria Isabel. from Beauty and Graces. Again, our Mr. and Miss Foster Philippines, our JB Guerrero and Miss Maria Isabel Rional. Each will receive 100,000 passes. 100,000 passes worth of chiropractic clinic. Scholarship package, travel package, gift certificates, 300,000 worth of wardrobe from JR Gomboa Flores Couture. And who knows, we might be sending them to an international competition. So watch out for that. Thank you.
you so much. And this has been Maria Jezamo Vista. I hope that you had a lovely evening watching the first ever Mr. and Miss Posture Philippines 2022. Mabuhay po tayo!